What if the only thing sabotaging your focus was breath? Your breathing is quietly deciding if you'll get into deep states of focus or drown in distraction. Now, I'm Rian Doris, founder and CEO of flowstate.com. We've trained everyone from Audi, Accenture, and the US Air Force to use neuroscience-based principles to access flow states at will. Today, I'm gonna to show you a breathing pattern proven to help you transition into flow state. Flow being that state of optimal consciousness where you feel your best and you perform your best. It's when action and awareness merge, when time dilates and self-consciousness disappears. Now, when I was four years old, walking along the beach in Chennai in Southern India, there near the edge of the water, stood a man balanced on a single leg. His other leg was twisted impossibly high up onto his hip. Children ran past shouting, but he didn't move. I tugged at my dad's sleeve and pointed, what's he doing? He's a yogi. He's mastering his mind. Sometimes they stand like that for weeks without eating, drinking, or sleeping. Later that night, I was lying in bed and the image haunted me, it led me to later ask, can our minds control our bodies? Years later, I found a more robust answer to this question in Harvard cardiologist Herbert Benson's groundbreaking research. Now, Herbert Benson pioneered research on the mind-body connection. He also laid the groundwork for the discovery of the flow cycle, struggle, release, flow, and recovery which is how we move through flow states. In the 1960s, when Western medicine dismissed the idea that the mind could influence physical processes in any way, Benson began researching meditation's effects on the body. In a 1974 paper published in Psychiatry, Interpersonal and Biological Processes, Benson showed that seasoned meditators could drop breathing rate, pulse, and blood pressure within minutes. One year later, his team replicated the effect in the International Journal of Psychiatry and Medicine, coining it the relaxation response. His research showed we have more control over our autonomic nervous systems than we generally believe. The autonomic nervous system coordinates all bodily activities, relaying information from our brain and our spinal cord throughout our body. The sympathetic part prepares for emergencies, fight, flight, and freeze, while the parasympathetic conserves energy, rest, and digest. And despite feeling automatic, we can regulate breathing rate, heart rate, blood pressure, digestion, and even hormone release through the autonomic nervous system. And this is the key discovery that yogis have known for centuries and that science has finally confirmed. We can control this system to shift ourselves out of stress and into flow state. Now you see flow state happens at moderate levels of arousal, not too high and not too low, calm yet alert. This puts you in what Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, the godfather of flow research, calls the flow channel where your perceived skills match the perceived challenge level of the task at hand, the thing you're engaging with. When the challenge is too high, you tense up, too low, and you check out. Flow happens when it's right on the edge of your ability, just difficult enough to stretch you but not break you. Most people mistakenly believe that intense discipline or sheer willpower alone is the key to focus and driving yourself into a flow state. But even perfect discipline will not work if your nervous system is physiologically mismatched to what you're trying to do. Every cognitive task requires a specific nervous system signature to match it. And the current state of your nervous system probably is not aligned to what the task requires. But by synchronizing your nervous system with the task at hand, you create optimal arousal for flow. A great example of matching nervous system to task comes from a study on classical pianists by DiManzo and colleagues published in the journal Emotion. The researchers asked professional pianists to repeatedly play pieces designed to trigger flow. And they measured the pianist's heart rate, blood pressure, and muscle tension throughout. As pianists enter flow, their heart rate slowed, their blood pressure dropped, and their muscles relaxed. The physiology perfectly matched the demands of their performance. When your body matches your task, flow happens naturally, organically, almost inevitably. This means that regulating your nervous system is like an overlooked meta trigger for flow. So what's the simplest, most powerful tool for getting your nervous system to line up with whatever task you're trying to engage with? Well, it's fairly straightforward. It's the breath. When we breathe, two processes occur simultaneously. There's the breathing and then there's respiration. Breathing is the mechanical process of air moving in and out of our lungs. Respiration is the biochemical process where oxygen is introduced into your bloodstream and carbon dioxide expelled from the body. Breathing is mechanical, respiration is biochemical. And by manipulating the mechanics of breathing, we can alter the biochemical reaction in the body, leveraging respiration for peak performance of flow. And this is the key to hacking your nervous system to push past the struggle phase and release into flow state. Breath 
works like a dimmer switch for your nervous system. Just as you adjust room lighting by turning a dimmer up or down, you can adjust your arousal level by changing your breathing patterns. And I discovered this firsthand while preparing to speak at a major event we hosted at my organization, the Flow Research Collective, at the Seattle Space Needle. It was an event that we ran in collaboration with Dr. Andrew Huberman, and it happened just about a month before lockdown, the COVID pandemic. The nervous tension before I was getting up to speak was overwhelming, making it nearly impossible to focus on organizing my thoughts. And Dr. Huberman stood in front of the group of over 100 high performers that we were training together and walked us through a specific breathing pattern. Within 30 seconds, my body shifted, my chest opened up, my shoulders dropped, the internal pressure decreased, and the stress reduction benefits were profound. Over time, we synthesized the research on breath work and flow state and developed what we now call a flow state breath. That's three seconds in through the nose, a two second hold, and a 10 second exhale for three rounds. So here's exactly what to do. Inhale through your nose for three seconds. Hold for two seconds, and slowly exhale through your mouth for 10 seconds. This protocol closely mirrors something called the long, slow breath developed by one of my dearest mentors and one of the best meditation teachers in the world, in my opinion, Janusz Wellen. He adds a simple but powerful gesture that you can use if you wanna magnify the result from this protocol as you exhale, where you raise your hand like you're swearing an oath and then you slowly lower it as you breathe out. That motion turns the breath into something physical. It helps your system register what's happening. You're visualizing the tank of tension and carbon dioxide emptying from your body as you lower your arm on the exhale. Research shows that combining physical movement with breathing creates a stronger neural imprint than breathing done solo. And you wanna repeat this three, two, 10 second pattern three times total. Now, why does this work? Well, a three second inhale provides just enough oxygen to maintain alertness and fill up your system so that you can exhale slowly. The two second hold allows carbon dioxide to build slightly enhancing focus and the extended 10 second exhale starts to activate your parasympathetic nervous system through the vagus nerve, calming your body while maintaining mental clarity. And this aligns with research by Karina Pfeiffer and her colleagues published in the Journal of Happiness Studies showing that flow state occurs at a balance between sympathetic and parasympathetic activation. By the final round of the flow state breath, your nervous system will be perfectly ready to plunge deep into flow. Let's do the flow state breath together now. Find a comfortable seated position, kind of like I'm in here. Sit up tall, pull your shoulders back a little bit, back but relaxed, and then rest your hands on your thighs with your palms facing down. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable, or soften your gaze, and then take a deep breath in through your nose for a count of three. Then hold your breath for two seconds. One, two, and ever so slowly exhale through the mouth for 10 seconds. There you go. Great job, well done. Now we'll repeat it two more times. Breathe in through your nose for three seconds. Hold for two, one, two, and exhale through your mouth for 10 seconds. You can try the arm gesture if you'd like this time or not. Slow, controlled exhale. And one last round. Inhale through your nose for three seconds. Holding for two. And a slow controlled exhale for 10 seconds. As you exhale, you may be able to feel the parasympathetic nervous system come online. Tension in your shoulders may dissipate. Heart rate may slightly adjust. You may get this soft wave of calm wash over you. Well done. You've just completed your first flow state breath. What counts as a flow state breath, by the way, is three rounds of those three breaths. So nine in total. Now feel how your body and mind are already instantly more relaxed. By now your body is more primed for flow. Now here's what's key about the flow state breath. You can do it anytime. You can entrain your system and habituate to doing the flow state breath. I do it on Zoom calls. 
I do it if I'm on a train. I do it if I'm waiting in the line at a coffee shop. I do it all the time. And what will happen is the foundation of your physiology will shift and rewire and your autonomic nervous system will become more balanced. It'll reconfigure itself, physically reconstructing neural pathways, adjusting baseline heart rate variability, and as a result, lowering and buffering you against chronic stress and the more accessible flow will become. Now, if you'd like a breakdown of the flow state breath that you can reference at any time, click the link in the description. It's totally free and it'll get sent to you right away. Now, remember, every breath you take shifts your brain. It's either nudging you closer to flow or dragging you further from it. Breath is the fastest, most effective way to create alignment between your state and the task at hand, which is required for peak performance. Now, one of the most effective places you can deploy the flow state breath is in the context of gaining what is called leverage, which we argue is the number one most critical productivity superpower. To master gaining leverage so you can amplify how much you can accomplish in any given hour, click the next video and have a watch now.